What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So Jeepers Creepers were born. That official news that or exclusive news that came out from them, that big website that they decided to put up for it ended up being the announcement of Imran Adams and Sidney Craven being in the film. Now, a lot of you uh were disappointed and you know i guess i am a part of why you were disappointed not necessarily because i brought on the disappointment but because you already knew these people were going to be in the film not only that they actually announced d wallace and get i think they announced gary graham too in the film which again who those of you who watch me you already knew that <laughs> so then for them to go out of their way to make a a freaking website that counts down to just have that simple announcement and you do get also another thing that i talked about i told you she had done you got your interview with sydney craven and you know it was one minute of her talking about her character of lane and talking about how lane potentially actually has some connections to this area that the creepers in assuming it's still poho county so i'll get into that really quick to tell to share my thoughts on what i think that's about but you you got nothing else you got nothing else you got a new logo I guess if you care about that, but you didn't get any any other cast mentions. You didn't get any mentions of Peter Brook. You didn't get any mentions of these other people that I've told you are in the movie. But what did happen after that was cast members and crew members started posting images up on their social accounts and Timo actually went out of his way to post a picture of him with D. Wallace and Gary Graham. Uh there was other images that started coming out of the creeper on set and i've seen your guys' comments about all of it i've seen you guys again continue to reference power rangers the the makeup isn't what i'm going to be honest the makeup in these images that came out doesn't look awful it's the fact that is this appropriate makeup for a terrifying creeper pic De depiction that's what i think the really big issue is H hence why some of you are referencing power rangers and it's just like we need to see how it translates on screen also the creeper does look relatively small but i know that the guy portraying him you know that image yeah we have to see it on screen the guy playing him doesn't look as small as that isn't as small as he looks in these images or one at least one of them anyway because i know someone made a comment about he looks he looks short the guy playing the creeper isn't as short as that image might have you thinking he is so that's why we need a trailer there's just a lot of frustration i feel building with the lack of not seeing everything play out in motion with a trailer you're just getting these behind the scenes one minute interviews uh you're getting stills from behind the scenes nothing really in the appropriate context nothing in the appropriate lighting i mean sydney craven did share what i would assume is official stills of her character lane in the uh creepers new house of pain and in the interview you actually do get to see footage of her doing certain things around the set as lane uh but jumping into what she could be talking about as it relates to her having some type of connection to this area because she makes a comment in the interview her character realizes she's been here before so i know in the original film trisha was said to have been maybe going through like a breakup of sorts or she was in a rough spot with this guy poli -sci track team guy or something Derry made a comment about i was just thinking maybe she was pregnant and let's say she gave up the baby baby's older baby's now returning to her hometown not, not by in not with purposeful intent but just by pure coincidence and that's why these premonitions lead her to the conclusion she's been here before just throwing that out there maybe this is trisha's daughter who knows because that 23 years ago trisha she's when they were on their way home she just seemed like something was bothering her regarding that guy and maybe it was a little bit more than just a breakup maybe it was because she thought he got her pregnant and that's something she could have shared with her parents when she actually made her way home she could have had the baby for whatever reason the baby grew up out of the country and now the baby's back assuming these people are actually going to keep their accents that we're hearing that they have in sydney's craven's new interview she's she's clearly got her accent but we haven't seen anything for the actual film to let us know whether or not these accents are going to be altered or are they going to talk as if they are from the states I, it's just hard to make it out what is going to be only because we haven't seen any footage of anyone talking on screen yet so you know that's that's what we got yesterday i know a lot of you were disappointed nobody was really 
wanting that to be it we, a lot of us also had the countdown still running when that news came out that came out before the countdown was over so i'm like why is there a countdown but the news came out before the countdown was over also why are some countries having a different time for their countdown it's just like nothing was on nobody was on the same page nobody was on the same page also it seems more than very clear now that this movie is not coming out next week seeing as how we didn't get a trailer we didn't even get to know who the rest of the cast is we are going to just get slow increments of things coming out and it's going to build up to what i can only assume will be hopefully a march 2022 release and they've had mentions in these email subscriptions that you can sign up for on 23rdday.com if the website is even active anymore where you'll get exclusive news con competition invites other official announcements and it's just like how many of these things that are about to come out do you guys already know about since i've already told you about it and these things are not official just because they've announced them they've they've been official from your own crew members stating that they're in the movie all you did yesterday was just make an announcement about it the when it became official was when the people participating in this project were going out of their way to post it on social media that is that that is the point at which it became official it became official right then and there you guys simply just made an announcement yesterday so for them to say that this is the, making it official yeah maybe to some people who aren't aware of the things that have already been disclosed online prior to this announcement but a lot of people felt let down only because of the fact this stuff was already online and basically already official they had already announced it themselves the crew members and other people involved with it sydney craven didn't directly say she was in a jeepers creepers movie but everyone who had participated in the project was interacting with her so, so her participation was already pretty much locked in i don't know why they only put out that but that's that's them you know in usual situations like this you would want to get ahead of these leaks that are already out there but in this case they i i've seen a lot of you make this mission they don't seem to care i guess they're going to keep rocking with this mentality of dropping stuff that we already know hopefully that's not the case uh but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me miss any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video